Check, check. It's bigotry, trivia time. Grab your friends and play it online. With Ali and Gina and Taco just for you. It's bigotry, trivia time. And we'll feel it all out. Good evening, everybody. Good. <laughs> I'm so glad that you guys have joined us. It is just after 9 o'clock on Thursday night. Uh, I am Ali with Big and Tricks Entertainment, and we are going to be playing some Monk Trivia, the Tony Shaloub classic. Um, we're going to get this started here in just a few minutes, but before we do, if this is your first time playing, uh, we're happy that you're here. Please make sure that you join the online trivia game. You can hang out with us here on YouTube. You'll hear me. You'll see me asking the questions. But in order to actually play, in order to actually have your answers submitted, you need to join the online game. You can see the details here on the screen. Uh, all you need to do is go to online.bagoftricks.com, hit enter, and then when it asks you for the code, put in the word MONK. I made it as simple as possible. Uh, once you do that, you will see a screen that looks a little bit just like this. Uh, so I'm going to throw this up. I recommend joining the game from your phone and leaving the YouTube video up on your computer. You can certainly do both from your computer, but people tend to like doing uh, watching the video from the computer and playing the game from their phone. So it's just going to ask you for your name. Once you type your name in, it'll tell you this game will start soon. That's not going to start until I actually click the button to start it here, and we will do that in just a few minutes. Uh, I see a few people still joining, so we're going to hang out uh, and let people join before we dive into the questions. Before we do, um, most importantly, before I go any further, a big shout out, a big thank you to Kayla, um, who is the reason we're doing Monk Trivia tonight. Uh, like many of you, Kayla donated to Bag of Tricks recently, and what we do every single week, we draw one person out of everybody that donates and we let you choose one of the trivia nights that we do. So this week we drew Kayla's name, we contacted her, and she knew instantly, no hesitation, she wanted monk trivia. So we're doing it for her and for you guys that are here tonight. Uh, we will be doing another drawing here at the end of this week. Actually, tonight's pretty much the cutoff, so if you uh, feel so inclined, by no means do you have to, um, but the options are down below if you'd like to donate to Bag of Tricks. All of these events are free. You don't have to pay to play, um, but we do accept those donations or tips. If you do decide to donate, you will be entered into the raffle so that next week you may be the individual choosing one of our trivia nights. It can be a show, a movie, a book series, anything that you like, um, whether we've never hosted it before or if we've done it many times, like Friends or The Office or Harry Potter. Um, you can tell us, hey, listen, I want to do that, and we'll do it for you, as we're proving tonight for Kayla with Monk Trivia. So thank you to everybody that's donated in the past or will donate in the future. We really appreciate you guys. Um, <clears throat> those donations allow us to continue to put on these events uh, more and more often and many different types of events. Um, so thank you so much. Thank you even if you don't donate financially. Thank you to everybody that supports Bag of Tricks online by liking our page, uh, commenting on those posts that we put out, inviting your friends to play these. We have participants from all over the world now, which is just incredible. Um, we're playing out of a small town here in Illinois. That's where we're hosting from. So it is so great to see our friends from Canada joining us every single day. Shout out to Christiane out there. Uh, I'm not sure if Bobby's back, but shout out to those of you that are joining us from all over the world. Um, please do continue to invite your friends and family. We need to update our list. We're trying to check off every one of the 50 states here in the USA, and we're almost done. We need a couple more states. But uh, thank you to all of you that support us online that way. So how it's going to work tonight, there will be 30 separate questions. Most of them tonight will be multiple choice questions. And then the, the last round that we do, you'll actually have to type in the answer yourself. So I will explain how that works when we get to it. But for now, what you need to know, for the multiple choice questions, you will see the question on the screen here. And you will see four options, A, B, C, or D. One of those options is always the correct answer. So even if you're not sure, because some of these questions will be tough, if you're not sure... Take a guess, A, B, C, or D, you have a 25% shot. If you are sure, click that button. 
Make sure you click it as quickly as you can because the sooner you get your answer in for multiple choice questions, the more points you earn if you're right. If you're wrong though, if you click B and you meant to click A, you can't take it back. So make sure you're sure before you click anything. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. We're gonna have a lot of fun. These questions come from all the different seasons of Monk. Um, some of them are pretty easy. We'll start out with the easy questions and some of them will certainly get pretty tough by the end of the night. So um, even if you don't do so hot in the beginning or, or you're not the biggest fan, um, not that you're not fans of Monk, but maybe you haven't watched it 10 times like some people, um, don't give up hope. You could surprise yourself later on. Maybe you just remember a couple key things and that gives you the extra points that you need. Um, so thank you all for being here. Thank you all for supporting Vega Tricks. And honestly, we're going to dive right into this. I'm going to look right now. Yeah, we have 39 people online. So thank you all for being here. Cheers, everybody. Cheers to Tony Shalhoub. Cheers to Monk. Ah, it's jungle out there. What a what an apt theme song for the current situation. We are all A lot in. of stuff with Monk is very yeah. current. Uh, yeah, honestly, that we should be sharing out old scenes from Monk on how to wash your hands properly. Wash yeah, how to go out in public. Just act more like Monk. Like he was right. Yeah. Oh. All right. The first question you see is going to be a practice question. All that means is that it's not worth any points. All right. So this very first question, I'm just asking you, what is the name of your host tonight? What is my name? Um, you're gonna have a chance to answer this once I start the timer. There are 30 seconds until the timer runs out. You have to get your answer in before it hits zero. Um, this one's not worth any points, so just give it a go. This will teach you how to use the system. What is the name of your host tonight? Is my name Curly, Larry, Mo, or Ali? What is the name of your host tonight? Curly, Larry, Mo, or Ali? Again, this one not worth any points. This is just so you learn how to use the system. All of the multiple choice questions will look just like this one. Oh, Tony Shalhoub is an absolute treasure. Christiane, I saw you out there binging this show. Congrats. I saw you out there. <laughs> the updates, whatever you did. I know, it just sounded cute. <laughs> All right, let's see what you guys thought. We drove 21 hours to your house. <laughs> um, most of you, 24 people said Ali. One person said Mo. Um. Ali, the correct answer. Again, this one not for points, just for fun. So now you know how the system works. You're going to see four options pop up. You just have to click one of them, and that'll be your answer. You earn more points the quicker you get the answer in, so don't hesitate. Um, but be sure that you click the right one. You can't take it back. Oh, sorry. I just clapped for enthusiasm, and I woke somebody up. Oh, and he's asleep again. How dare you? And it doesn't take much. All right, here we go, everybody. Question number two. This is the first real question of the night. Like I said, we're starting off easy. What is Monk's first name? We know him by Monk, but what is Monk's first name? Is it Solomon, Adrian, Morty, or Jordan? Taco looks real comfortable. What are you guys drinking tonight? We have some buttery Chardonnay. It's a box wine, right? Blackhawk? Nighthawk? Something like that? Nighthawk. Nighthawk. Boxed Chardonnay. I moved on from Irish whiskey. <laughs> uh, you guys did very well. That's a social. 93% of you correctly said Adrian. Good job. Cheers, everybody. Adrian Monk, his first name. Great job. Moving on. Question three. In what city is the show Monk primarily set? Uh, the events of almost the entire series take place in which of these cities? Is it Seattle, Los Angeles, New York City, or San Francisco? Between trivia, Jackson was explaining to Chloe that I would be doing Mega Tricks trivia. I couldn't believe he got it right. Yes! I love that. Teaching him right. Does he still say the trivia guy is blogging? The trivia guy is blogging. That's so cute. Thank you for making us a part of your family. Yeah. Yes. Jessica, hello! Hi. Welcome. Hi, great people here. 
Yeah, I love seeing so many familiar names. And I love seeing new names. If you're out there and you haven't played on YouTube, you can chat uh, in the YouTube live chat. Jake Teeling, the whole Teeling family, I'm honored. Welcome, Teeling Yay. family. It's been a while. Oh, Stephanie's excited to see Jake and Matt. Um, our team name is not our usual. I'm excited to see what it is. Uh, the correct answer, you guys gave us another social. San Francisco, one of my favorite cities in the world. So congratulations. Cheers, everybody. Matt Teeling was part of the Vega Tricks family. Mm. Yes, Matt Teeling was a host with Vega Tricks. So welcome back, Matt. And Jake, a former co-worker of Gina's, right? Did you work there with him, too? Yeah. Or was it just Steph? Yeah. Sure All right, question four. What trauma left Monk unable to leave his home for more than three years? It is not COVID-19. What trauma left Monk unable to leave his home for more than three years? Ooh, that beep means my pizza's done. <laughs> That's a fantastic sound. Uh, which of these traumas is correct? He was shot by an innocent bystander, or he shot an innocent bystander. He saw his mother murdered. He saw his wife murdered, or he convicted an innocent man. Christiane, oh, thank you. Jackson loves the theme song. Uh, we're still, we're working, maybe this weekend I'll take the time and uh, load that song up and send it out so people can dance along or sing along and just record yourselves having fun. Um, and we're going to clip some of those, those dances and singing into the theme song video so you guys can see yourself here. Um, I'll make a couple different versions so it switches up and uh, I'd love to have you all involved. This is our first official, 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 official social. He saw his wife murdered. Cheers, everybody. 100% of you cheers got this right. Murder. Yeah, cheers to murder. I don't oh, feel right about that, but no, I feel right cheersing you guys for everybody getting it right. Everybody. All right. Speaking of his wife, question five. What was the name of Monk's wife? Was it Trudy, Anna, Sharon, or Karen? What was the name of Monk's wife? Yeah, remind me to do that. That's two things I want to do this weekend. A private Zoom game for music trivia. And the Bag of Tricks theme song. Let's send that you out. Got so that people, yeah, thank you for writing it down on our cat note paper. People can dance along, sing along, and we what can was share it? it out. Private. Yeah, private Zoom trivia for a music game. Sorry, guys, you're seeing the conversations here. Brandon okay. was asking. Okay. Huh? Oh, she said Brandon was asking if, and then got cut off. Oh. All right. I think this is going to be another social. Guys, you know your monk. You are, um, I, I, I don't think I've explained it. A social is just whenever you guys do really well. We like to celebrate it by offering up a cheers. It doesn't have to be alcohol. It could be water or pop or lemonade, whatever you're drinking. Just cheers to celebrate how well you guys have done at this question, including this one. Trudy was her name. Cheers, everybody. All right, we're five questions in, so let's take a look at the standings for the first time. We'll see where everybody is. First, second, and third will stay on the top of the screen. Everybody else is going to rotate through. Missy D, welcome, 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 Missy. I didn't know you were here. In first place, uh, a bibliophobic in second, and the original social distancer, fantastic team name, in third place currently. Uh, I'm going to let it rotate through again because I didn't catch all these team names. I see Jake out there. Mr. Wonk and his really retort. My Sharona. Steffi Star. Uh, I see Lobby, Lobby, Lobby. Shucky Darn. Matt T. Chris Solo. I miss Sharona. Yeah, only three seasons from Sharona. Why? Tell me why. Take your top off. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We never got a team picture from Team Take Your Top Off. <laughs> we never got a shirtless photo. Yeah, right. All right. Here we go. We've seen these scores. We'll look at these every five question, guys. So don't worry. You'll see where you're at. Question number six. Which of the following... Oh, are you okay? Oh, yeah, that oven mitt is just burnt through. I would use a towel. Thanks. <laughs> what apartment does Monk live in? You have four options, so even if you're not sure, take a guess. What apartment does Monk live in? 4B, 5A, 2G, or 3C? Yeah, I got those oven mitts at the dollar store. I'm so sorry. Do you want ice cubes? I can get those. I appreciate it. I feel bad. Was the pizza done though? No. Oh shoot. I'll get it out later. Sure. <laughs> it was a 
<laughs> Wish finger was burnt from then on. <laughs> Sorry, guys. This is uh, real life here. We're doing this at our dining room table. We're happy to be doing this for you, but this is not a professional studio. So <laughs> thanks for putting up with our banter. Uh, you guys spread across the board here. Nine of you said 4B. Nine of you said 5A. 11 of you said 2G. Two of you said 3C. The correct answer is 2G. We live in 2G. Um, still, the, uh, the majority of you got this right. 11 of you said 2G and 11 of you were correct. So good job. Here we go. Question seven. What musical instrument does Monk play? What musical instrument does Adrian Monk play? Is it the clarinet, the drums, the tuba, or the violin? I'm going to be slurred and so I said yes. Oh, we could still do some online stuff, Christiane. Don't you worry. And once this is all over, we're driving to Canada anyway to come say hi. Lindsay, I'm so glad you actually did that. I always throw it out. I, I recommend, even if you don't like the show, come hang out with us and chat. I'm glad you actually did. Thanks for being here. Um, but honestly, did you finish Survivor? Let me no, know. No, she's not. Okay. Final Tribal, so no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. No spoilers. Don't, guys, if you, if you can hear me, no spoilers of Survivor in the comments. We have a, a good friend out there who's, who's joining us rather than finishing it, so don't ruin it. Correct answer here is the clarinet. Monk plays the clarinet. 26 of you got this. So you guys are kicking butt with this first round of multiple choice questions. I promise you that questions will step up a little bit here in a little bit. Um, question number eight. Which of the following is the name, just the first name, of Monk's brother? His real full brother. What is the name of Monk's brother? Is it Ambrose, Arthur, Alvin, or Melvin? 3 hour episode. Yes, Jake. Uh I think it was one of the best episodes of Survivor we've gotten because they did 3 hours and I love Jeff, but I'm glad that we didn't see Jeff talking every 2 minutes because in real life finales they have Jeff talk and he randomly interviews random people and we lose valuable screen time from the actual participants. Um, so I, I really enjoyed this finale. We got a lot more content than we typically would. Christiane, nothing for us to see here. There's everything to see. Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan. Bobby and I would love to have you. We would love to visit. We can't wait. Uh, let's see what you guys thought. This is a social. 90% of you know that Adrian's brother is Ambrose. Cheers, everybody. Ooh, there was more wine here before. Thank you very much. Is your finger okay? What? I'm sorry. All right, question nine. Uh, which of the following colleges did Monk attend? Where did Monk go to college? Was it Harvard, Princeton, Stanford, or UC Berkeley? Where did Monk go to college? We can bring wine, isn't there? Don't we have wine that they can't get? Was this a conversation one day? No, they don't have like like a tannin because of wine and cheese place. Oh you yeah, get wine and cheese. We don't have like a shop like that. Got it. Yeah, we'll we'll bring wine and cheese together. <laughs> we are for the Survivor fans out there. Gina and I are currently uh, rewatching or watching for the first time Cook Islands, um, Ozzy and Parvati and um, uh, <laughs> Jonathan Penner's first season, Yule's first season. A lot of people's first season. Great stars came on from that one. 73% uh, of you said UC Berkeley. Six people said Stanford. The correct answer here is UC Berkeley. UC Berkeley. Um, typically, if there's a California show about a really smart person, they go to Stanford. But uh, Monk went to UC Berkeley. So shout out, 22 of you that knew that. Let's do question 10 and then look at the standings. Speaking of Monk and school, we're going back further to high school. In which of the following sports did Monk excel in high school? What sport did Monk excel in in high school? Was it basketball, baseball, track, or tennis? I put basketball. Base Maybe you're thinking basketball. Oh, I want to watch basketball. I know, you don't love that show. 
<laughs> all we I made can... a show. <laughs> <laughs> Drink all the wine and eat ketchup chips. Yes, and dill pickle chips. Cook Islands is one of the best. Thank you, Lindsay. Um, I've seen wow. I've seen most seasons of the show, but that's one that I haven't seen, and Gina had never seen, so we're watching that one. There's a few other there in the teens that I haven't seen, um, and the late first round, like one through ten, that I haven't seen that we're gonna watch. Correct answer here: many of you knew. Seventy-seven percent of you, twenty-four people, correctly said track. Uh, he, in one episode, he was running some track events, but he certainly needed to get back in shape. Um, not tennis, not baseball, not basketball. Good job, everybody. Let's look at the standings once again. Let's see if anything's changed. Missy was in first place before. It is now Lobby, Lobby, Lobby in first. Mr. Monk and Frappy's birthday, I'm assuming, in second. And I miss Sharona up in third. Uh, you can see how close this game is, though. 12.57 to 12.45 to 12.30. First, second, and third. 150 points per question. You're earning, you're earning points based on how quickly you answer, as well as if you got it right. Sarah in fourth. Stable Genius in fifth. Mr. Monk and his witty retort in sixth. A bibliophobic. I love that team name. Did we find out what uh, Jess and John's team name is tonight? They said they changed it up. Mm -hmm. I want to know. <laughs> Lindsay, because college. Allison, Neil, welcome. I didn't see you out there. Basketball. Yes, the newest Olympic sport. I will compete um, only if Kevin's on my team. Ask Kevin if he'll be on my team for basketball in the Olympics. All right, here we go. John and Jess, this is about religious orders, right? Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> oh, Love it. Okay. All right, here we go. This is about religious orders, right? Yeah. All right, here we go. Question 11. 11. We have 20 multiple choice tonight, so we're going to move through these. The last round will be the ones where you actually have to type in your answer. Pre-DVR. That's right. I remember taping Survivor. Christiane in third. Congrats. And a great team name. I miss Sharona with three exclamation points. I don't know why, but I love counting how many exclamation points there are. I like the team. Shelby's got nothing on Taco. And Miss LaRuca and Bert are out there, too. Uh -huh. LaRuca. So Allison and Christine both started watching Monk because you're doing cooking, which I think is so cool. Guys, that makes me so happy. I know it's a silly little thing, but I love when we do a trivia night and you guys out there watch a show because we're doing trivia, like Lindsay with Letterkenny. Because um, you know I love these shows, so I'm so glad that you're sharing in these now with us. Um, so thanks for letting us know. And again, keep the suggestions coming. Um, if you suggest a show, it's on the list. We'll eventually get to it. But if you win that donation raffle, we do it next week. Sorry, I am talking a lot, but this system is taking forever to load. Um, question 11, we are here. Tuesday night is what night for Monk? You'll understand when you see the options here. Every Tuesday night is what night for Monk? Is it spaghetti night, chicken pot pie night, meatloaf night, or taco night? Tuesday, every night, every Tuesday is what night for Monk? Well, second period question, I understand you think it's trivia too. Yes. You guys are the best. I need to watch more Letterkenny. Letterkenny I, it was tough because I love it so much I couldn't watch it while I worked. Yeah. I needed to give it my full attention. Yeah. Um, but now I've finished it. I've finished it all the way, so now I could watch it while I work. Oh, perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Lindsay, I love it. I'm still in a, a boardwalk empire. I got sucked in. I didn't realize how good that show was going to be. And I like period pieces i like shows with incredible sets and, and acting like that um i'm all, i just finished season two already i think there's only five seasons so I'm very and much this weekend you're gonna watch dead to me season two. yeah we're gonna finish dead to me this weekend season two season one was incredible uh and i love your season two is good too linda carlini uh the correct answer here uh what appears to be his favorite food chicken pot pie every tuesday night is chicken pot pie night so good job most of you knew that 22 of you. All right, question 12. What was the name of Sharona's son? What was the name of Sharona's son? Here we go. Timer has started. Is it Philip, Bobby, Tommy, or Benji? P. 
Pitter patter, yes. Uh, yeah, Boardwalk Empire is not for everyone. Um, I didn't know going into it that it's a Martin Scorsese show. Um, I don't know if he's done other TV shows. I didn't even know he did this one. Um, but the, the filming is incredible. The acting is great. Uh, if you're not a Steve Buscemi fan, that's okay. Um, the show is very good. Uh, again, it's set in you know the, the day that Prohibition started, so the early 1900s. It's a lot of fun, but it is a very violent show. I told Gina that um, if you're not a fan of violent shows, I wouldn't watch Boardwalk Empire. But if you are, if you like The Sopranos, right? I'm really big fan of that era, but... Yeah, it's up. Well, I, we can watch Hollywood. I've heard good things about that on Netflix. I've heard mixed things. Those are different eras. I know, but I'm saying it's a period show. Okay, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys just made this a social. 90% of you said Benji, and 90% of you were correct. So congratulations. Cheers, everybody. We are moving on to question 13. Uh, how did I phrase this? Question 13. About what is Sharona revealed to have a phobia in season two? Let me rephrase. In season two, it's discovered that Sharona has a phobia of which of the following? Is it elephants, gorillas, bridges, or escalators? Sharona has a phobia of which of the following? How do you work a more than full-time job? Rewatch Chuck, White Collar, Letter Kenny, and start all the other shows you want to see so and true. spend many hours a day here. I don't know, Lindsay, but I'm so glad that you figured it out. Uh, I mean, I'm glad that you're here every single day for multiple events. We really appreciate you being here. Um, we have a good time. And you just reminded me that we need to start White Collar. That's what the next show we should start together. I need to catch up on my shows first. No, no. you. I'm saying the next one we start together could be White okay. Collar. Matt Bomer. Need I say anything else? No, you don't. <laughs> uh, the correct answer is elephants. You guys are still kicking butt. 70% of you got that right. 21 people. Sharona had a phobia, a fear of elephants. So good job, good job. We'll do 14 and 15. We'll get the standings again. 14. Monk, obviously very particular, um, dealing with his OCD tendencies. But what is the one item in his house that Monk prefers to leave slightly crooked. He wants what item crooked? Is it Trudy's pillow, his coffee table, his toaster, or Trudy's picture? Uh, I'm so glad. Crystal, I don't know if you're out there playing right now, um, but I appreciate that you posted the picture. Guys, if you haven't, check our online community. There's a picture of all the the seasons of the DVDs of Monk. And it, this has happened with other shows and other movies, um, but seasons one through six are all the same format. And then season seven, they flipped everything. And then season eight goes back to the original format for a show all about a guy with OCD. That would drive me nuts having all of those seasons mm -hmm. on the shelf and they don't line up perfectly. Um, speaking of his OCD tendencies, this one you guys weren't as sure about. Six of you said Trudy's pillow. Eight of you said Trudy's picture. Sixteen of you said his coffee table. The coffee table is the correct answer. Uh, he likes to have one item a little bit crooked in his house. That is his coffee table. Uh, he'll always just put that a little bit back. Uh, Crystal Lens posted this in the group. That's what I was looking at, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> it may, that makes me crazy. Oh, it would drive me nuts. I only look at it for one second. There are a lot of video games that do that, too. All right, here we go. One more, and then we'll look at the standings. Uh, so we're moving on from Sharona. We'll still talk about her some more, but now we're looking at Natalie. What was Natalie's last name on the show? What was Natalie's last name when we met her? Was it Holmes, Bruner, Taylor, or Teeger? What is Natalie's last name? <laughs> Lindsay, you made it. You made it. Missy, that's not a bad life right now. Work from home, watching shows, doing online trivia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some of us, I mean, we're working from home, but I am respectful and I understand that not everybody gets to. I appreciate those of you that still do have to go out to jobs. Gina does. Um, Gina still goes out um, and works um, a couple days a week. 
out in the real world, if you will. So we do appreciate that, and we appreciate all of you that are still out there working, um, not able to stay home. And those of you that stay home, understanding that you know it's not always just about being able to. Some people can't. Correct answer here again: ninety percent of you, twenty-seven people knew the right answer, which is Tiger. This is her married name. Um, this is the name that we know her as having when we meet her, Natalie Teeger. Cheers, everybody. 90% of you got that. Let's look at the standings again. Oh, I didn't realize we were still on the taco can. Oh, my God, I need it. I'm reading all the comments. <laughs> uh, lobby, lobby, lobby. I miss Sharona up in a second, who I have discovered is uh, Christiane. Congratulations, kicking butt. Paying off that you're watching the show as we're preparing for this. Mr. Monk and Frappy's birthday in third. Only one point behind second. Look how close it gets with these multiple choice questions. See Jake out there. Matt T in 14th. The Bibliophobic in 16th. Abracadabra in 17th. My Sharona. Disher's dogs. Love it. Miss LaRocca and Bert, thank you so much for being here. Um, thank you for showing up to so many of these events. And thank you for the donation. Bye, Taco. He's out. All right. I guess we'll go back here. All right, here we go. We have five more multiple choice questions, everybody. Number 16. This, uh, hang on. Hey, come here. Okay, good boy. In which episode, so I'm going to list four episode titles. In which episode was Monk wrong for the first time about who the murderer was? In which of these episodes was Monk wrong for the first time? Mr. Monk gets a new shrink. Mr. Monk in the garbage strike. Mr. Monk in the big game or Mr. Monk meets his dad. Uh, I am so sorry for everybody whose dogs just started barking because of Taco. I know that sometimes he sets off a chain reaction. Ooh, Stephanie Curtis. Yeah. I forgot about that show too. too. That always makes me, what's the show? Two broke Two broke girls. Two broke girls. That's what I always think of. Um, two guys, a girl, and a pizza place. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot about that show. I remember liking it. I probably wouldn't now, but. Oh, Kayla, Ellie, our dog just became very interested in the TV. That's fair. Um. So this one, most of you knew. Most of you knew. Eighteen of you said Mr. Monk in the garbage truck. <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, you can hang out with me for a minute. I don't know. What he's hearing. I don't know. Oh, I know. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's okay. Okay, just go then. Uh, hang on. All right. We're back. I muted it. Uh, as much as it's cute, I don't want to annoy all the dogs out there. Um, so this one, the correct answer, as many of you knew, was Mr. Monk and the garbage strike. Uh, obviously, getting a new shrink would be distracting. Meeting your dad would be distracting. But for a man with OCD and cleanliness issues, having a garbage strike would certainly mess with his mind. And it did. The first time he was wrong. About who the murderer was. So good job, 18 of you got that right. Question 17. We mentioned Mr. Monk meets his father, but what was Monk's father's name? His first name. What was the name of Adrian Monk's father? Was it Adrian, Alan, Jack, or Michael? Was it Canadian based? I'm looking up. What are you looking up? Picture. Two guys a girl? Ah, Lindsay, yes, the wind. Uh, Allison, tell me, Taco. I mean, um, Taco. It was changed to two, uh, two, two guys. They shortened it, right? It was two guys and girls in a pizza yeah, place. Yeah, it's American. It was American. All right. Uh, I don't... Nathan Flynn. Oh, I love Nathan Flynn. Any Firefly fans out there? Uh, so Chris isn't here, but this would be a social for him. Jack is the correct answer. His name was Jack. Uh, Adrian, a good guess. Alan, a good guess. But Jack, the correct answer. Good job. 20 of you got that. Cheers. 
my wallet's gone. Uh, question 18. This is a fun one. Next time you get up, could I have some more water? No rush. Uh, which of the following is Monk's preferred shirt inspector? Anytime I think of shirt inspectors, I think of the Pete and Pete episode where he like goes to find the man who inspected the shirt or his underwear. Yeah. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. Right? Deep cut. Uh, but which of the following is Monk's preferred shirt inspector? Is it number one, number three, number 10, or number eight? Which of these is Monk's preferred shirt inspector? Oh, nice, Christy. All right, let's see what you thought. Uh, a little spread out here. Six people said number three. Seven people said number 10. 16 people said number eight. For whatever reason, number eight was his favorite inspector. Congratulations to 16 of you that knew that. Moving on, question 19. Which of the following individuals did Sharona end up marrying? Who did Sharona, and by the end of the series, who did Sharona end up marrying? Was it Stottlemyer, Randy, her ex-husband, or Monk? Who did Sharona end up marrying? End of the season. Okay. End of the series. And now Taco is sleeping in Gina's arms. All right, everybody's in. Nobody thought Stottlemyre. Nobody thought Monk. Um, I believe she did leave. She went at some point. She was with her ex-husband, but she ended up marrying Randy in the end. Um, they liked to jib and, and jab at each other, but obviously that's because they liked each other, um, and they did get married in the end. So shout out, twenty-three of you knew that. Question twenty: Which of the following is Monk's favorite? brand of bottled water. What is Monk's favorite brand of bottled water? Is it Southern Springs, Poland Springs, Perrier, or Sierra Springs? Everybody's in. If you have never had the opportunity to have Poland Springs, it is fantastic. Did we? Where were we? I ordered a case of it. Okay. Well, yeah. Because when I lived in New York for a summer, Poland Springs is, is the bottled water out there. And I don't know what it is, guys and gals, but there's just something about Poland Springs. But it is not, it is not Adrian Monk's favorite. That would be Sierra Springs. Sierra Springs, you guys weren't fooled here. Great job, great job, great job. Let's look at the standings. This is the end of the multiple choice questions. Currently in first, second, and third. Uh, lobby, lobby, lobby. In first, Mr. Monk and Frappy's birthday in second. Jake up into third. I saw I Miss Sharona still right there in fourth. Uh, thank you, Jessica, for the donation. Thank you so much to everybody that's ever donated. We appreciate it, guys, so much. Um, we don't ever expect it. How did I say it once? Never expect it. Always appreciate it. Um, True. Yeah, thank you so much for the donation, guys. All right, so for everybody playing, if this is your first time ever playing trivia with us, you definitely want to listen up right now. Because the format's going to change slightly. We are no shit's longer... about to get real. Yeah, shit's about to get real. Uh, we are no longer going to do multiple choice questions. You now have to type the answer in all on your own. Um, just by that fact alone, that's going to raise the difficulty. Um, but overall, I think these questions are a little tougher too. Uh, so make sure... There are a couple things you need to know. Make sure you type your answer in and hit submit before the timer runs out. 
if you do that and you have the answer correct, you earn all of the points. Unlike multiple choice questions, the, the point value isn't going to decrease anymore. These are worth 200 points if you're right or zero points if you're wrong. There's no in between. That's it. Um, but with that said, take your time. That's why I turn that off so that you take your time and spell your answers correctly. If you spell it right, the computer marks it right, you're good. If you spell it wrong, I have to check it and I have to give you points. So, you know, I may miss it. I try not to. I do my best. Um, but the best way to make sure you get your points is to just spell the answer right. So take your time. Make sure you send your answers in before the timer hits five. That's my suggestion, guys, because this is the internet. It's unpredictable. It may take a second or two for your answer to reach the server and reach my computer. So give yourself the best chance of your answer actually being submitted and send it in before the timer hits five, even though you have 30 seconds total. Here we go. First question. You have to type the answer in all on your own. We'll show up here in a second because it's question 21. internet has a mind of its own tonight. So I imagine you guys can see question 21. The phones tend to update quicker, but I still can't see it. So we're hanging on one second. Here we go. Question 21. The first one, you actually have to type your answer in. We talked about Monk playing the clarinet, but what instrument does Randy play? What instrument does Randy Disher play? We've seen him playing it. We've seen him play it a few times. What instrument does Randy play? Whoa, I missed a lot of comments here. It's people talking about the favorite episodes. Oh, favorite episodes. Yes, yes, yes. Shucky Darn is a great team name. I agree, Steph. Whoever is Falcon, I will watch Monk with you. Mm -hmm. um, Stephanie, uh, the individual who requested Monk trivia, Kayla, actually posted that clip in the online community. That's the reason I did see the Monk in Quarantine clip. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have seen it yet. Um, but yeah, I saw it. I know Gina saw it. I'm sure some of you did. If you haven't, it's in the Bag of Tricks online community. You can see that. Kayla posted it. I missed that. Sorry, Kayla. I didn't see that post, or else I wouldn't have thought. We were uh, driving when I saw it pop up. That's why you probably didn't respond. Well, yeah. we were on our way to the garden center. Aww. Uh What we're looking for here is the guitar. Acoustic, acoustic guitar was fine. You got points, but guitar is what we were looking for. Question twenty-two. What was the name? So this is from in the show. I'm not talking about in real life. In the show. What was the name of the individual? I really just need a first name. What was the name of the individual who was Monk's biggest fan? Um, it was a woman. I'll give you that hint. What was the name of the individual who was Monk's biggest fan in the show? <laughs> I think this one's pretty tough, but you guys have been doing really well. Oh, thanks. All night. All right, all right, all the answers are in. So let me just go through and see if anybody just spelled it wrong so I can mark it right for you. Yep, as long as you wrote anything close to Marcy. You didn't need the last name. That's just what I gave in uh, to the system to show you. Marcy Maven was her whole name. As long as you wrote Marcy uh, any spelling of Marcy, anything close to Marcy, you got points here. Kayla is a good guess. Kayla's the reason we're doing Monk Trivia, so <laughs> shout out to Kayla. Um, but Marcy was the correct answer here. Question 23. What is Captain Stottlemyre's first name? I've been careful to just call him Stottlemyre all night. What is Stottlemyre's first name? I think you guys will know this. Uh, Harley was marked wrong with misspelling. Still got points, right? uh, yeah, Jake, um, if you spelled it wrong, I corrected it. It won't tell you on your phone. So that's that's one issue with our system is if you spell it wrong and I correct it, it won't tell you on your phone that you got it right. But as long as 
you spelled something close. You you got you got points. Don't worry, Christy. I saw that answer. You got points. I know what you're talking about. As long as you were close, you got points here. Doing the best we can with this online system. So we appreciate all of your patience and we don't mind the questions. Doing the best we can with life. Let's be honest. Yeah, doing the best we can with life. Trying to. I hope so. All right. Most of you got this. Uh, 14 people and more. It doesn't count the people that misspelled it. Leland. Leland Stottlemyer. Epic mustache. Leland, the correct answer. Uh, so again, here's a quick way to know if you got points. While you're, while you're watching, if you look at the YouTube stream, so don't look at your phone, look at the YouTube stream really quick. You can see on my screen, there's only five answers. Leland, Keith, Stacy, Artie, and William. As long as you did not type Keith, Stacy, Artie, or William, if you sent an answer and you got points. I'm not calling out those four individuals. Those are good guesses. But as long as you didn't type Keith, Stacy, Artie, or William, you got points. That's an easy way to know, even though your phone may tell you you got it wrong. All right, question 24. Speaking of names, what is the name of Natalie's daughter? What is the name of Natalie's daughter? My mom's playing just for a TV show. Yeah. And she's never seen it, so any funny answers will be here. Oh, <laughs> yes. Thank you for being here, Laura. We appreciate it. Please call us out. We deserve it. We are playing. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Jessica, I'll give you all the call-outs. <laughs> Ooh, we just heard more thunder. Here. Yeah, we just heard more thunder. If we disappear suddenly, it's because our power goes out. Just disappear. so you know. Yeah, if we just <laughs> if we if we just disappear, it's because our power goes out. Disappear. All right, let's see what you guys thought. Um, we don't do that. Ooh, how specific! I'm gonna be a little specific on this, just because you guys are doing so well. Um, so Natalie's daughter's name is Julie, not Julia. Um, I would usually be pretty lenient, but you guys are doing very well overall. Um, so I'm going to be pretty specific. Julie is the correct answer here. Uh, question 25. We'll do this one and then we'll look at the standings. We know that Monk lived in uh, his apartment. He had an upstairs neighbor, I believe. What was the name of Monk's neighbor that was murdered? Just a first name is fine. What is the name of Monk's neighbor that was murdered? Watch this one today. Kayla, nice. That'll do it for you. Hopefully you got this then. I'm good right now. I'll wait till I eat. But also white. If you're getting up. Yes. I'm going to write it right away. <laughs> I'm going to throw these answers up on the screen so you guys can see. There's some good ones here. Uh, I have Kevin Dorfman. All I needed again was Kevin. If you typed Kevin, it just grouped you in with Kevin Dorfman. Um, somebody said Stephanie. Ned Flanders. Mrs. Bates. Bang PD. The correct answer was Kevin. Kevin, uh, his last name was Dorfman, but Kevin was all you needed to get points here. Good job. Let's look at the standings. Again, first, second, and third will be on the top. Everybody else rotating through. Lobby, lobby, lobby in first. Jake up into second, and Steffi Star up into third. I see Missy D there. Uh, Shelby's got nothing on Taco. Miss LaRuca and Bert. Um, I want to see where Jessica's at. She said call us out, so let's let's see. Uh, why, why? Take your top off. It's up into fourth. Congratulations. You moved up. This is about religious hoarders, right? Jessica and John in 21st place. You're kicking butt, guys. You're doing so well. Thanks for being here. All right. You want to get up in your chair, bud? You going to bark anymore? Oh, I know. Who's called out? Dang. That is on fire for this know. one. There you go. Oh, what a boy. Oh. Almost saw him. He left already. Ooh, he's probably on him. It's, it's storming outside. Guys, happy uh, Thunderstorm Thursday. It is now officially raining again. All right. This is going to be the final round of questions. There are six questions left. 
Yeah, it is pouring. Okay. My herb garden is happy it. for it. You could use the rain. All right. Here we go. Question 26. Monk's brother Ambrose never leaves his house. What phobia does he suffer from? Because of the, the phobia that he has, he never leaves his house. What phobia does Ambrose suffer from? Oh, yeah, it's raining. Yeah, we just did some gardening this week. We got some plants in, a nice lilac bush, and I built an herb garden. Lots of fun stuff coming. Ready for some mojitos in the summer. Nerd. And don't worry, before anybody lets me know, my spearmint is not in the herb garden. It's in a pot on its own. Thank you. Yeah. I know that it spreads and it will try to take over. Thank you so much. All right, Monk is the one that has OCD. His brother, Ambrose, like Sheila on Shameless, suffers from? Yeah, my system just really popped off. Uh, agoraphobia, fear of the wide open spaces. 69% of you, 20 people got it right. Cheers, everybody. Good job. Oh. I know we're almost done, but look at this. Look who's back. Ooh, look at his paws. That's never a good sign. Oh, oh let's give him some privacy. Uh, question 27. Wow, it is coming down in cheats. Um, what is Captain Stottlemyre's wife's name? I just need a first name. Obviously, her last name is Stottlemyre. What is Captain Stottlemyre's wife's name? I'm going to speed through these because I'm not going to lie, guys. I am slightly worried that our power remote may go out. Yeah, the pets are freaking out. Taco is very alert, looking around. What is that noise? It's just the rain, and it sounds like a little bit of hail. Is it storming anywhere else? Like yeah, is it storming where you're at? Let us know. Oh, and now he's settling down. Katniss is freaking out. Yeah. No. All right. What is I'm assuming you're looking for his first wife. Uh, yeah, the one that we hear about more, most often, uh, and that we've met. No, not storming in Lombard. Not storming even in Lombard? Yeah, I was expecting, like, a Canada response or a Arizona response. Not but... storming in the city. The, we've noticed since we moved to the south suburbs that it, the weather is worse here when it comes to storms. Yeah. Correct answer is Karen. Karen Stottlemyre. All right, question 28. What is the name of Monk's... Former partner. Again, a first name will be fine here. Um, what is the name of Monk's former partner who was with Monk when Monk got the news about Trudy's murder? What was the name of Monk's partner who was with Monk when he got the news about Trudy's murder? Not in Kane County. It's not storming in Lombard. Well, no rain yet in the city. You heard it here first, folks. Watch out. It might be coming your way. Nashville. Um, I'll circle back on that wife question, guys. Yeah. What was the... I, I didn't prepare for that. What was the name of his other wife? I'll look it up. Karen. Oh... Trudy TK. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Um, I'll circle back. I'll circle back, and I will mark those correct. Just give me one sec. Oh, my God. Yeah, take it off the taco cam. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't know it was still on the taco <laughs> cam. He needs some privacy. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> uh, the correct answer here. Again, a first name was fine. Joe. Joe Christie was his full name. So if you type Joe, it automatically corrected you to Joe Christie. Um, but Joe was just fine. Um, give me one second. I'm going to pop back here to question 27. You guys don't have to do anything different. I'm just going to mark those Trudy's correct because um, he was also married to a woman named Trudy. So hang on. That's my fault for not being specific in how I asked the question. You guys did everything right. All 
All right. So just know now, I, I know a lot of you commented and I appreciate it. Um, if you wrote Trudy for Sottlemyer's wife, you also got points for this. And then we will move on here to question 29. As soon as my computer catches up. All right. Uh, so question 28, we've already done. Give it just one second. All right, question 29. According to his brother Ambrose, we found this out, very specific question. How old was Adrian Monk when he first started going out on dates with women? I'm just looking for a number. You can only answer with numbers. According to his brother Ambrose, how old was Adrian when he first started going out on dates with women? Nothing we don't see on the hour, Jessica. I can imagine. You guys have awesome pets. Taco cleaning himself. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, yeah, Jake, I gave that to you. I knew you meant Trudy. Don't you worry. Lindsay just heard thunder in the distance. Yes, I think that is show the um, captain's character to keep Trudy a secret. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I gave it to TK uh, as well. I saw Kara's comment up there. Uh, if nothing else, I am a man of making sure that people get the points they deserve. That's true. I always go back. All right, correct answer here. Speaking of the points, you earned points if you wrote 26. According to Ambrose, Monk was 26 when he went out, uh, started going out on dates with women. Question 30. Nothing wrong with that. What country music star did Adrian have the opportunity to play with in the episode Mr. Monk and the Red-Headed Stranger? What country music star did Adrian have the opportunity to play with in the episode Mr. Monk and the Red-Headed Stranger? I remember this one well. You done, Taco? Okay, he's all settled in. Oh. All right, a couple different country music star guesses here. Willie Nelson, Reba, Toby Keith, Steffi Star, Dolly Parton. The correct answer was Willie Nelson. Uh, Willie Nelson, I, Monk was all set too, and then somebody else used, uh, used his reed, uh, and he could not bring himself to use the reed that somebody else had had their lips on. All right, final question, everybody. Final question, then we'll see the final standings here. Question 31. What'd you say? Oh, I see. All right, final one. Question 31. Let's see who knows the final question of the night. Thank you again um, to Kayla for asking us to do Monk Trivia. This has been a blast. Um, we're talking about Natalie. I know a lot of you love Sharona, but we're talking about Natalie. Natalie's last name, as we know, is Tiger, but that is the name she has for marriage. What is Natalie's maiden name? I'm just interested to see if anybody knows this. What is Natalie's maiden name? Ooh, yeah, some of you know it off the bat. Okay, Kayla is a Natalie fan. There was a discussion earlier. Jake said unpopular opinion. I like Natalie more, but then a lot of people said me too. I did not see that, and I would have been with you, Jake. I like Natalie more than Sharona. I think Sharona is a great character, but I like Natalie more, personally. That's just me. And holy shit, you guys know this one. I thought this would be the toughest question, but I know um, her family name holds a lot of weight, has a lot of money behind it. Um, even though she shrugged it off. Uh, the correct answer here, as many of you knew, is Davenport. Natalie Davenport. Um, she goes by Tiger. Her husband uh, unfortunately killed in action. Um, but Natalie Tiger was Natalie Davenport. Congratulations to all of you, 15 of you that knew that. That's awesome. All right.
That is it for Monk Trivia. Well, there's not, you know, there's devoted people here and very awesome people here, but there weren't 100 people here. So this went a little bit quicker than a typical trivia night. But again, I can't stress how much I love doing these personalized games, um, shows that we would not have done otherwise. We may have gotten to Monk Trivia down the line, but Kayla, you certainly made this happen faster than it would have. Um, and that is what we're trying to give back to you guys since you have been so incredible all of you out there with your donations. Um, again, we're, we're happy if you support Vega Tricks just by liking our page or sharing our events or inviting your friends or honest to God, just joining us. If you do none of that, you just show up to play. We like that. Um, but it certainly means a lot of, to us um, when you donate financially. Um, so that's how we're trying to give back is allowing one person each week to choose a trivia night. Kayla, thank you so much for choosing Monk Trivia tonight. Thank you to all of you that have donated during this event. Um, that was really uh, a nice surprise. Thank you guys so much for that. We appreciate it, Kayla, Kara, um, everybody that sent a donation through. Please do, before I, uh, while I have your undivided attention, before I do the winner, please join us tomorrow night. If you're a fan of trivia, we're doing general knowledge trivia for a cause. Tomorrow night at 8.30 p.m. Central Time, we'll be doing trivia to benefit the Bloomingdale Township Food Pantry. So it'll be free to play. You can join just like you are right now. But instead of asking for donations, uh, I'm not on the right thing, but instead of asking for donations to Bag of Tricks, we'll be asking for all of your donations to go directly to the food pantry. Every $25 provides a full, I believe, week's worth of meals to a family. They can make your money go much further than any one of us could just go into the store and buying food for someone. Um, so please join us tomorrow. We have an incredible lineup of prizes that we're excited to award both through raffles and through the trivia competition. Um, so join us tomorrow at 8.30. It's a Friday night. Most of us are still in lockdown. So what else are we doing? Join us. I have a whole bunch of brand new questions lined up, fun stuff that we're going to do together. So thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you for joining us tomorrow. Um, and let's go over the final standings for tonight. If you're in first place, guys, we don't have any prizes tonight, um, but you've won our respect. Um, Adrian Monk would be very happy uh, for you. And honestly, I don't like doing that. So if you won tonight, if you're in first place, shoot us a message to the Vegatrix Facebook page, and we'll send you a, a pint glass or a wine glass, whatever we have. Uh, we'll make a Vegatrix glass for you if you're in first place. Um, we I don't like doing anything without a prize anymore. Yeah. So if you're in first place here, send us a message to the Vegatrix Facebook page and we'll hook you up with something one way or the other. Uh, let's find out where we're at in first place. Oh, lobby, lobby, lobby. Good job. You finished in first place. Second is a very stable genius. And third is Jake Teeling. Congratulations. Uh, you can see that for the most part, that was a close finish. But lobby, lobby, lobby came away in the end there about one question ahead of everybody else. Uh, two questions, technically, but a question's worth of points. So congratulations, everybody. Thank you so much for playing here with us tonight. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the support. Um, that's it for us. I'm going to sign off before our power does cut out and I'm forced to. So please be safe. Take care of each other. Have a good night. Hopefully we'll see you tomorrow at 830 for some general knowledge trivia for a cause. Until then, guys, have a good night and wash your hands like Monk